Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're bringing you uh, something fun, something exciting uh, in my opinion. Uh, gonna be these mystery power boxes. These are the holiday edition ones. Uh, the company that makes these, the MJ Holdings obviously. Um, you guys are probably familiar with it this time. Uh, releases these every once in a while. The holiday editions tend to be a little bit better than all the rest. Uh, some of the last ones have been a bit of duds, um, but we've got some of them here today and we've got five of them here. So we'll give a little look around here. We got five total plus the one sitting down, so four in the background, plus this. They've got two booster packs, two duelist packs. Um, they got a duelist pack Kaiba, duelist pack Yugi, uh, and then a legacy pack, a deck, and then a mystery item as well. And it tends to be with these, you, send, uh, you, you get kind of the same thing over and over on them. So uh, it tends to be not to be a ton of mystery, but it's always fun to open them. Um, that's always the best part. So let's jump into it, see what we get, and uh, see if there is any mystery, see if we get anything lucky. Uh, the Duelist Pack Kaibas obviously are uh, interesting items with those ultra rares, or sorry, ultimate rares, uh, sitting in those in particular. Um, and we'll see, see what we managed to get. So let's bust one of these open. We got five. Uh, these retail at your Walmarts, uh, Targets, whatever, on your area, depending on what country you're in. Uh, pretty, pretty simple to find, but they go off the shelves pretty quickly, and we'll see what they have given us. So we'll pull it here to the side, and let's pull out. This is going to probably be our mystery item, so we have the giant blue eyes card um, out of the Kaiba collector box. Uh, so these are pretty standard fare. <laughs> um, there's nothing really spectacular about this, but it's nice to have. I don't have any of them. Um, I've never opened the Kaiba collector box. So I'll add that, say I've got it, and uh, we'll go with that. Ooh, we've got an Invasion of Chaos card, or pack, and uh, we'll bust this open. We'll go straight through it. I don't know the pack trick off the top of my head for the retro packs. This is going to be our legacy pack. Uh, we got Dark Magician of Chaos in there, and then we got Black Luster Soldier and uh, a couple others. So we got DD Borderline, we've got Gale Lizard, Smashing Ground, Boganian, and we got Mataza the Zapper. Manju the 10,000 Hand used to be a decent card. Uh, and then we've got Fiend's Hand Mirror. DNA Transplant, Chaos Greed, wraps it out there. Let's see what else we got going on. We've got a Starter Deck Kaiba Reloaded. You get that Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes inside here. These are probably better to keep uh, sealed, depending on how many of them we get. Um, but they gotta be worth, you know, with, looks like we're getting everything out of the Kaiba Collector Box, but gotta be worth, uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks minimum right now. Um, so they retail just under, uh, $30 at your Walmart targets per box, per mystery box you get. So yeah, probably getting around our money back on it here. Duelist Pack Yugi coming up. We've got King's Knight, Green Gadget, Karibo, Light Force Sword, and Dark Magician. It's a decent pull. Uh, obviously, the Duelist Pack Yugi has kind of terrible uh, cards in it overall compared to the uh, Duelist Pack Kaiba in the end, which is up next. Duelist Pack Kaiba got the better end of the draw. Pack's a bit damaged here. Uh, so it looks like we just busted open a Kaiba collector box. So that's cool. Hoping we get one of those ultra, sorry, I keep saying ultra, I mean ultimate rares. All right, we got Ancient Lamp. We got Flute of Summoning Dragon, classic card for Kaiba, Judgment Man, Lord of D, and we got Kaiser Seahorse as well. So that's classic Kaiba pull there. Let's see what else we got. I think we got two more packs in here of our standard. So we've got Dimension of Chaos, which I think is advertised on the box. So that's kind of funny. 
nothing nothing great in terms of the pulls thus far. Super sa heavy samurai drum. We've got Kaiju Capture Mission, Dark Contract with a Swamp King, Mad Specter, Fox Kyubi, Sphere Karibo, and then Dark Contract with Errors, Perform Pal, DD Human Resources, Dark Contract the Gate. So nothing great out of that pack either. And then, yep. And what is this? This is Flames of Destruction. Flames of Destruction to wrap us out here is going to be our final pack with a, uh, what, Secret Rare Imperm band big card in here. Trying to make some space on the table for myself. Trent Tendangle Trinity, Mech Knight Avram, FA Dead Heat, Goki Akko Stretch, Link Bound being a super rare, and then Trickstar Delphindium, Yajiro Invader, and then Trickstar Mandrake, Cyversal Cyclone, wrapping us out there. So, overall, first pox, uh, nothing. Nothing getting us too crazy. Kaiba deck reloaded there was probably the bulk of the value. And we'll see if uh see if we get anything good on the upcoming one. Over under on how many giant blue blue eyes white dragons we get in this. Question. All right, we got another giant card. Oh, it's a blue eyes white dragon. We'll add that. We're gonna have a play set. All right, first thing up, we've got starter deck. Oh no, we got a starter deck Kaiba reloaded again. So we're, we'll get our money back on that. Uh, so everything fell out of the box. So there's a blunder. We'll just. Uh, Pretend we didn't see any of those there on the side. And Dark Saviors coming out first. Here. You know, like move the box to the decent location. Sky Striker is going to be in this set. Where is the. Good card, the secret rare. Curry Bandit. We got Vampire Sorcerer. We got Mirror Force. Always good to see Mirror Force. Horn of the Phantom Beast. And a Dampier Vampire Sheridan uh, wrapping out the set there. So that's not bad. Nothing too spectacular value wise, but get into our next Yugi Duelist pack. Queen's Knight, so that's our last of the Knights. Green Gadget, King's Knight, Buster Blader, Classic Card, and Exchange being our only rare. All right, and we got Duelist Pack Kaiba. We got Lord of D, Magic Reflector, Familiar Knight, Enraged Battle Ox, and Vorse Raider has a rare. I need to make myself some some room here with these giant boxes. All right. Next pack up is Flames of Destruction. Let's get ourselves a an imperm, shall we? Got Defrag Dragon, called by the Grave. That's a good card. Set that aside. Mameki, Vampire Sucker as a secret rare. Not a bad pull. I don't know how much uh, Called by the Grave is as a common in this set. Sekka's Light, and then Link Streamer, Goki Bear Hug, Trickstar Mandrake, and Altergeist Pixel. Wrap it out. What does Called by the Grave go for? Ooh, almost a dollar. And Invasion of Chaos is our legacy pack. Let's 
Good call by the Graves on a bad card. Ojama Yellow, Balloon Lizard. Oop, we'll just skip right to DD Designator. How about that? Just right to it and Robin Zombie. Look at these cards. These don't even look real. That's how like old they are. Look at like the difference just in the in the print style. Sometimes it makes you question these old packs. Manju and Big Koala. All right. All right, we're gonna get our play set of Big Blue Eyes. So $30 a piece on each of these boxes. You know, the unopened Kaiba decks, probably where your bulk of your money is in terms of value. So that's a little bit, you know, something to factor in when you go to buy these. Keep that in mind. All right, what do we got? We have another big card. And it's our play set of Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm gonna take those, play those next next duel for sure. Okay, got my hand on the deck here. Let's see, let's shake. And it's a Kaiba Reloaded. Now if we just make sure not to pull anything else out with it. Kaiba Reloaded. Got a, got a play set of the decks. All right, first up is Dimension of Chaos. Oh, come on. Let's see, we got Gradle Split, we got Despot 006, Contract Laundering, we got Magispector Cat Nekomata, and Raid Raptor Fiend Eagle. Has a rare and secret rare. Oh, sorry, super rare. And then, Wrapping out the pack there. Still no leg uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. Flames of Destruction. Come on, give me give me something something big, a big hit out of here. FA Dead Heat, Space Insulator, Three Trolling Trolls, Defrag Dragon, Wind Up Zen Maintenance, and Trickstar Bouquet. Mm. All right, Duelist Pack Yugi. Let's see what we get here. I'm calling it Alt Art Polymerization. Catapult Turtle, Red Gadget, Big Shield Gardener, Brain Control, Magical Hats. Classic card, but not a great pull. Duelist Pack Kaiba. Ultimate Rare Pot of Greed. All right, we got Z Metal Tank, X Head Cannon, Flute of Summoning Dragon, Sword Stalker, Kaiser Seahorse again. Dang, no luck. What do we got? Legacy Pack is Invasion of Chaos. Ouch, we are just not having any, any luck here getting anything other than IOC packs. Soul Tiger, Yellow Luster Shield, Gigantes. Dimension Distortion, Destruction Ring, Salvage, and everything else is going to be just commons from the set. Somebody hook me up with a, an LOB pack. We want an LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon. All right, if I get another big Blue Eyes... We'll have more than a play set. <laughs> We're just opening the Kaiba collector box in pieces. All right, it's a big card again. It's blue eyes. It's the blue eyes. Sorry, the, the camera frame is not big enough. I'm not far enough away to actually show that. All right. If the video gets a uh, hundred likes, I know that's making something not terrible. Twenty-five likes, we'll we'll reenact the Kaiba uh, tearing tearing a card in half with one of the big 
blue eyes for the meme. <laughs> no one will ever use this card against me. Started at Kaiva Reloaded. So we got four of those. Got plenty. Dimension of Chaos. So we get. Super Heavy Samurai, we got Ignite Veteran, DD Swirl Slime, oop, almost fucking screwed up there. Tomb Barrel Dragon is a rare. And then Gradle, Gradle, Grand Horn of Heaven, and Pride for March. Tomb Barrel Dragon. Let's look at our Duelist Pack Yugi over here. Come on, Yugi. Grandpa didn't, didn't do this, didn't teach you that will be a terrible duelist. Light Force Sword, we got Black Luster Ritual, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Big Shield Gardena, and Monster Reborn. It's a rare. Not too many of those already. We got Duelist Pack Kaiba. I wonder if these are scaled. Based on damage to the side of the pack or how it's crimped-ish. What are the chances? Haven't gotten anything good yet. White Dragon Ritual, we got Judge Man, Lajin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp, Fiend Sanctuary, and Vorse Raider. So we did get a hollow here. That's cool. We we'll actually got something decent. Super rare. What is this? Dark Saviors. All right, what are we gonna get from Dark Saviors is the real question. Not a lot of value in the set anymore other than Sky Strikers. We got Vampire Vamp. We got Sky Striker. Uh, Mech Harmony. Tune Table of Contents. We got Allure of Darkness, which is actually still a decent card to play. And then Dampier Vampire Sheridan as a secret rare. And then one pack left is Invasion of Chaos. All right, one day we're going to get something other than Invasion of Chaos, right? Can we get Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, or Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End? Chaos Sorcerer, Zero Gravity. Okay, cool. We'll just skip right past both. But we did get an Ultra Rare, and we got a great Ultra Rare for an IOC pack. A dimension Fusion. Shit. Oh my gosh, can't speak. So what a skip here. This is our best pull of the set. Like... <laughs> Dimension Fusion is a fantastic card. Um, Dark Dry Ceratops, all this other stuff here. Pff, ignore it. Ignore it. We got we have an ultra rare from a legacy pack. Oh my gosh, where's my sleeves? Get a sleeve for this. All right, there we go. And we're in decent condition. We're probably off center a bit, but like nothing too much. That's on the on the sleeve here. It's not on the actual card. Um, but what a skip! What a skip and, and mess up on the pool there. Um, whew, let's go, let's go. That's like a twenty something dollar card right there for sure. Last pack of that one. Pull. Last one of these boxes. Can we top Dimension Fusion? Let me know what you think in the comments. What's been the best best item? What's your favorite item in this set? Is it the big blue eyes cards? Is it the starter deck hyper reloaded? What is it? Oh, we got a big card. Oh, we've got a fifth blue eyes white dragon. And this one is thick with two C's compared to the others. All right, let's get this deck that's in here. This deck feels different. Oh man, it's a different deck too. Mechanized Madness, first edition, reloaded. So we did get something new. That's nice. Let's see what else we got in here. 
Ooh. They gave us a different deck because they gave us a Legend of Blue Eyes. We'll put that on the side, wrap out the video with that. Yeah, let's, I don't know. I mean, these are value-wise been pretty, pretty decent. I mean, obviously the sealed decks are the best. Duels Pack Yugi here. We'll see if he gives us anything good on this last one. Last card of Sanctity, nope. Yugi's letting us down. Kaibo is always better anyway. Yugi's just a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. All right, we got Soggy the Dark Clown. We got Ring of Defense, Familiar Knight, XYZ Dragon Cannon, and Vampire Lord. So we did get another super rare from the Kaiba Duelist Packs. Which is more than we can say for, uh, for Yugi Boy. And let's see, we got Dark Savior, so we got Fandora, the Flying Fortress, Plague Spreader, Zombie, Bravo, the Fight for Fighter for Hire, Shadow Vampire, and then we got Sky Striker, Make Mecha Modules, Multi Roll, which is a decent secret rare. Sky Strikers are the best thing in that set, and then Dimension of Chaos is our final non legacy pack in the set. Super Heavy Samurai, we got Contract Laundering, DD Savant Kepler, Magic Specter Storm, Pendulum Area, and Gradle Alligator wraps things out. Uh, nothing else in there is worth it. It all comes down to this, the Legacy of Blue Eyes, sorry, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Lots of good cards, Exodia pieces, you know, Legend of Blue, or sorry, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, you know, every card in the set, Red Eyes. And it is the pack there is. Let's see if we get anything. I think it's one, two. We'll do two to be safe. Move things to the back. We got Ray's Body Heat, Fire Grass, Monster Egg, Tai Hone, Asaki the Legendary Swordsman, Dark King of the Abyss. We got Sherubin the Fire Knight. Mystical Sheep number two, and Hard Armor. So it was just a rare in the set. So our best pull is going to be Dimension Fusion, Fusion from IOC. So good pull here. Let me know what your favorite thing in the set was. Uh, it was probably obviously one of these five giant blue eyes white dragon cards that was pulled. Um, or it was Dimension Fusion. Or you really enjoyed having four Kaiba starter decks um, pulled all identically. Uh, let me know what you think about the value of these. If you think they're worth it, um, you know, let me know that. Let me know what you think about these overall. Obviously, compared to the other ones, probably better. Um, and you know, for the meme, you know, I think we have to. These are worth like ten cents a piece. But no one will ever use these cards against me. So, in honor of Kaiba and everything we got from his set, you know, we'll just hit one up like that. So, you know, you gotta leave a like and a comment for that, for reenacting uh, the classic, um, <laughs> the classic scene from the TV show. So let me know in the comments um, what you do. Please subscribe uh, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care and enjoy Dimension Fusion.